What's up guys, it's Captain Rex Production 72 and welcome to today's video and in which I'm doing Minifigure Friday and I'm not actually sure what episode this is as far as I know it could be either 13 or 14 but so I won't be one of those numbers, I'm just getting confused but don't know why those numbers popped into my head the previous episode was on Tuck Fossil from the Pirate Tank and today we're looking at Chancellor Palpatine from 2009. He was only ever included in one set, i.e. the Venator, of which I don't own. I purchased this minifig off eBay. He is sort of a rare one considering he is in one set. And that one set used goes for a hell of a lot of money. Um, this is a really cool minifig. I like it more than the Chancellor Palpatine you get in Palpatine's Arrest. I just really like this one because it's old look. I know the Palpatine for Palpatine's Arrest is 6 years old, well, but at the same time, for this minifig being 9 years old, I still love it. I don't think it looks outdated in any way, but you guys can give me your personal opinions down in the comment section below. But let's get this minifig. So, this um, hair piece, according to the um, Star Wars Visual Dictionary, sorry, one of the books, the he is the only character in Star Wars or in the entire Lego film, I don't know which one, I think it's in Star Wars, to have that hairpiece in Bond. His face, um, his, yeah, I'll show you guys the face. The face is completely unique to his minifigure. Yeah. Um, as is the torso, this cloth piece that you guys see here, just show you guys the cloth piece. The cloth piece is not unique, well, sorry, it is unique to Palpatine as far as the books go. And his legs, I do believe, are in other minifigs in that red colour. His arm, he and I believe only two other characters have that arm piece in that colour. I believe the other two are Royal Guard and Hondo Onaka. Hondo Onaka and the Royal Guard. The Hondo and Arkham Minifig being from 2009 and the Royal Guard being from different years because there's different versions. But I all believe they have the same one. Anyway, I'll um, let you guys see the back of the minifig. Very bland, you have to remember this is 2009, so no back printing. No double sided faces or anything, no white printing because of what year this came out. Now, in terms of it being a minifig being based off of the Clone Wars, many people say that the Clone Wars faces are creepy and this one is apparently a good example of that. I think otherwise, I really like the head on this one. It is a unique head that is rather cool. And the reason it looks as ugly as it does because it shows Palpatine since he uses the dark side. It shows it diminishing his, look, his appearance and being very harmful to him. But yeah, um, that is a really cool torso piece right there. Um, I do hope they'll remake a Clone Wars Palpatine in like a new Venator in the next few years. Because next year, the only Venator ever made by Lego, apart from things like the mini version, there is no other Venator. So Lego should hurry up and make that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you think of this minifigure down below. Also, check out Ryle Brooks, he recently finished his building wishes series, and bye.